Good morning, proper. Hello. Hello, I'm here with the coffee. I've already had my non-negotiables. Um, <clears throat> my non-negotiables um, have an addition for the time being, just for a couple of weeks. This is why I sort of haven't been around a little bit. I did, uh, honestly, I have like filmed a couple of days vlogs and then I didn't finish them and then I deleted them because I, I was like, oh. Like, I'm not doing anything or saying anything of interest, which is basically what I'm doing now as well. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just couldn't finish them for some reason. So sorry about that. I have been around. I'm all right. Anyways, the other non-negotiable that I'm adding just for a couple of weeks is a heart med. Um, some of you may remember that I was a little bit ill. Um, I had like a gastro kind of bug thing tummy bug except it wasn't a bug we kind of both caught it like from the cat um i don't know what the name of it was but basically it left me with um, a bit of a kidney problem dehydration cramps in the tummy and stuff which um i've been for a checkup and they found that i had high blood pressure probably caused by the extreme dehydration and like the kidney not being able to you know filter stuff out um when i was in the doctors um she looked in in the eyes and there's like something you can see with apparently like the the back of the eyes like the discs that she was like well your heart is fine right now and she took my blood pressure and like it was fine when when it was she was in there but she says that it looks like my blood pressure fluctuates a lot so um or has been fluctuating a lot Although I've been fine, like, over this weekend. I can feel myself getting better. That's what I mean. Probably because I'm on the heart meds, but, you know. Um, even though they were, like, the tiniest, smallest dose, apparently. You're meant to have, like, five gra milligrams a day, and I'm on, like, 2.5. Anyways, anyways. Um, so I'm going for tests soon. going to have, like... Um, a blood pressure monitor like on all day to see if there's like certain times of day where it rises and for what reason and stuff like that um she says it doesn't look like it's anything to worry about and then it probably was from the being ill and the dehydration and stuff um so yeah and before anyone says like no it was nothing to do with the keto diet because like the whole time that the dehydration and the heart thing has been happening. I've been eating normal food, as in carbs and stuff. And um, like on the few days where I was like, oh, I'm gonna eat a keto meal, like, you know, basically what I would have keto, I actually felt better. So there we go. Um, I will be back on it now because uh, from eating carbs for the last few weeks, I am a little bit fuller in the face and fuller in the tum. Um, like, even if that's just, like, water retention, which some of it will be and some of it will be, you know, crisps. Um, so I will be back on that now. Um, I am drinking coffee, but this is decaf. Mm. I mean, maybe I don't need as much caffeine in my life, you know. So there we go. I need to sleep better. I need to get back on the eating better. And you need to exercise as I was before. And um, yeah, basically. But it's all okay. Anyways, that was four minutes of rambling on. Kitten is much better. She is bigger. And now she plays. Before she didn't play like a kitten. She didn't know how to kitten really. Um, and now like like we, we bought these toys for her. And she just kind of looked at them and was like, like what do I do? Now she's like, oh, kill it, pounce on it, rawr. So, which is very nice to see, isn't it? Um, her and Shizuma still, still don't get on very well. She is an evil cat. Like, Tilda is evil and she will chase Shizuma now whenever she sees her, which is very bad. Because um, Tilda now thinks that she owns this house. Whereas, you know, I'd like to think that Shizuma owns this house, but Shizuma's just like, oh no, I'll just sit over here. Bless her. But they're all right. 
Like Shizum has always stayed upstairs and this cat stays downstairs and we like lock her up at night in the front room with all of this stuff. So she's okay. But we do that just so Shizuma can, you know, have a bit of quiet time. Bless her. It will be okay. It's still early days. But last night Shizuma was with me like cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. Because I've been away for the weekend as well. I've been to London to see mates, to see Tasty eBay. Um, and yeah, so Shizuma last night was like, I missed you. I missed you so much. And we had cuddles in bed and stuff. And that was lovely. Yeah, so I did go to London for the weekend as well. Um, went to Liberty, went to see um, our friend Nikki, who has just opened the um, the first of its kind mind charity shop on Carnaby Street. So if you are around in London, um, go and check out Mind on Carnaby Street. It's just around the corner from the Swat Shop. So go and take a look because she's got some like beautiful, beautiful things in there, like designer stuff and like loads of Kate Spade things and handbags and like oh it's very very cool so you should definitely go and take a look oh and while I'm, I'm plugging other things as well I have to uh, remind you all about Lainey's thing but I also have to remind myself about Lainey's thing charity auction happening I think it's Halloween weekend but I will be back after I've done a bunch of shenanigans I'll be back later and I'll tell you more about it then how's that I'll do my sales and stuff first Show you what it is I'm doing for today. Not very interesting, but later on I will tell you more about Lainey stuff. So there you go. I'll be back soon. I've got to get my 36 orders off eBay and two Etsy orders together. And um, and yeah, then I'll show you what's going out from my from Friday morning up until this morning, which is Monday. Okay, I'll be back soon. Ooh, the hair's gone a bit. Ooh, there, isn't it? Wait. Anyways, get a cup of coffee or skip forward a few minutes because here's the weekend sale and it's going to take a while. So we've got sterling silver and amethyst um, oval ring for £12. We've got this cute little brooch of a kitty playing with a board gold tone, £10.79. A vintage gold at fob and see. That little fishy thing on the back, that is Goldette, the sign for Goldette, so look out for that. Uh, that went for £12. This cute little, um, it's got little flowers, little loose out flowers necklace, £6.50. This little clay African mask pin, £7. This little um, kind of floral portrait brooch, £4.50. Going to a viewer, hello, um, is the sterling silver and leather matching necklace and bangles set for $18.99. This set of vintage Garfield books, um, I think I paid 10 p each, or was it like, I can't remember now. No, maybe two pound for the lot. Um, that went for $14.99. This Bizarro felted ball and rubber necklace how weird went for 19 pounds and 19 pence this vintage 70s tiger's eye chip pendant necklace 10 pounds these monet gold plated hoop earrings seven pounds this um like a double cross ring uh, new with tags went for seven pounds these really cute lovely little celtic knot sterling silver earrings eight pounds a floral damascene panel bracelet um so it's damascene but i think this is more of the chinese one rather than the toledo spanish one that went for 12 pounds this gorgeous little like welsh harp i'm presuming welsh i said welsh anyway um like what are they called Charm, the charm bracelet, that's the word. <laughs> uh, fully hallmarked, I think it is, I think. Um, but that went for £20. There's Balinese style cuff bangle, Balinese, so you've got that. It could be Balinese or it could be Etrusca, Etruscan. But that went for £8. I haven't sold a job lot of erasers for quite a while. I was thinking of like taking them off and then bundling them all together. But then you're like, but I've done all the work. Like I've done all the work and they can just sit there. You can just sit there forever. 
So I'm glad I decided to, you know, to go with that. For now, anyway. Maybe it's when it's down to, like, the last, like, ten bundles or something, I'll just shove them on together. But for now, they can sit there and sell eventually. Because they cost me pennies. I was in profit on the first sale because I bought loads of them for a fiver. And, yeah, I was in profit from the first sale. I've made about, like... 300 three 400 quid off them so far i was keeping track and then yeah anyway 23.99 those are vintage stadler germany ones i think it is actually going back to germany as well because it's, well, it's definitely going on the gsp somewhere um this lovely dichroic glass and sterling silver collar necklace went for 27 pounds a sparkly bezel set crystal dangly necklace 14 pounds this lovely little brooch with little blue stones in it, a little floral spray. Spray went for eight pounds. These nine carat gold and pearl vintage earrings, thirty five pounds and fourteen pence. These very cute little you can't see them there, but they're little ballerinas in nine carat gold went for nineteen ninety nine. Um, this sample book which the shop over the road from me occasionally leaves them outside and says like, free, take them. And I take them because I sell them. This one only went for a fiver, but some of them have gone um, for way more than that, which is rather groovy. A sparkly Venetian mask pin. That went for £7.50. This faux pearl and sterling silver clasp double strand necklace, £17. Sterling silver, glass, evil eye. Well, it wards off evil. It's an eye that wards off evil. Um, bracelet went for £8.99. These chunky Monet clip-on earrings, £10. Got a lot of shoe licks. I was selling them individually for a while, and I was selling one every, like, four months or something. And I sold out of, like, the popular ones, like the red and the leopard print, I think maybe the gold or something so it was what was left um and again i was in profit on the first sale of them so but yeah okay they're not exactly the fastest sellers but anyway so i sold what was left for 11.99 so well in profit but it's hardly you know they were hardly exciting things to sell going out together is this brooch this like art deco fan style brooch and this little is it precocia yeah, or Precious Sea of Precocia. That's all I was. I don't know. Anyway, this little European charm with like lovely blue stones on it, blue crystals. They're going together, £11.98. This sterling silver with a sparkly CZ solitaire in it ring, £7.50. These two going together. Um, a little open heart necklace, very kind of Tiffany in style. And then this sort of dangly cross one with all different stones in there, mixed gemstones. Um, £22 altogether for those. Let's post, obviously. Um, a job lot of like Christmas earrings and pins and stuff like that went for £8. Um, a lovely bezel set crystal bracelet, which I could have sworn was Swarovski, but it's not signed. So I couldn't say that it was Swarovski. But they are more than likely Swarovski crystals in there. But they did go for a bargain price of £8. A job lot, which I won't pick up because it's four kilos of it, of broken costume jewellery. Went for £17.99 plus post. And then uh, these vintage grey with AB crystal. Uh, sorry, grey faux pearl with AB crystal round um, clip-on earrings. Went for £5.59. And over on Etsy, I had two nice sales. Um, so this of just a little birdie pendant, little bird in flight pendant. And then this, which is going over to America. This is a Victorian from 1890. So this is what it's hallmarked. Birmingham Adi or Adia and Lovekin Limited. So dated 1890. And it's this brooch. So this is, um, I think I described it as no, I can't remember now. Let me look it up. One second. Look at my sales on Etsy. How did I describe it? Arts and crafts, was it? Victorian aesthetic movement. That's the one. There you go. Victorian aesthetic movement. Um, and how much did I sell that for, actually? 40 something pounds? 44 pounds, I think it was. 
So that's okay. So I've got them to um, all package up now. A lot of parcels and things, but um, it is now 10 to 11. So I think it's time for a coffee before I do all of this stuff. And um, then I'm gonna do parcels, take them around to next door, maybe put a bra on, because I probably flashed you a few times during that. So I might put a bra on. What a treat. Mm. We'll be back later. It's mixing time. For what now? Pudding. Christmas pudding mixing time. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh. So how much booze is in there? Um, About four tablespoons, well, five. A rum. Just one for luck. And some beer. And beer. Oh God, it looks so good. This is lunch today. Yeah. Tasty omelette just browning off under the grill. Oof. Yum, yum. With some brown sauce and a coffee. Lush. Now it's time for a little kitten break before back to work. Aww. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. No, she is. She's a little face just behind the curtain. She's good. Secretly evil, aren't you, little lamb? Oh, she was just going to yeah. No, she wasn't. She was going. She was. No, she wasn't. She was like, get out of my house. It's my house now. Oh, yeah, I know. No. Just been watching a bit of Carla there. Well, the cat plays in the wrong bit of the box. Why the lid and not the good bit of the box, kitten? Huh? Yeah. Anyways, this is what I'm going to list this afternoon. Uh, so a bunch of silver bracelets and um, gold over silver bracelets. So I've got like a Labradorite one there, Amethyst, some Amber. This one's got a shell, some turquoise. Not sure if it's turquoise. I'll have a closer look at that. Mother of Pearl. That's got some CZs in it. I think that's just black glass. And then glass with the, like the evil eyes and more CZs there. And then we've got like the gold over silver ones. This is the one that looks like a coin. And then the little whatever that one is, some chains. This like tiger one that I did buy for myself, but I didn't really ever wear it. These little sort of paisley shape, fishy type shape things. Um, Chinese one, which is pretty awesome. And then this one, which is lush, and it's got like uh, raw rubies and emerald in it as well. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna list today. What are you doing now, Mother? I am um, putting the lid the on. Put I got the little look. stars. That's cute. These are just in case people didn't know. These are Christmas puddings. For um, Mum does craft these, and also we'll eat about a few yeah. of these each. <laughs> but they're proper yummy. That is really cute. Work is done. Time for a coffee. And the kitchen break. Hi. Aww. Hey, so um, I thought now, before tea, because we're going to put some food on in a bit, I'll show you some of the things I bought from uh, Liberty when I went at the weekend. I can't show you the first one because it's actually a present for Carla. So um, I just take that and put that away there. And then the rest are all actually Christmas decorations. <laughs> Now, as a family, we're not doing presents for each other this year because we're all going to put in money and we're going to have um, a little like log cabin holiday together somewhere um, in the new year because we all need to kind of chill out a bit and stuff, don't we? So we're going to do that. We're all just putting in money and not buying presents. But you can't just not buy presents because you know, I've got to have something. So I thought I'd get some Liberty Christmas decorations for people. So, um, this one is for um, my nephew's girlfriend and she really likes Mithy. So there's one in like a little Christmas Santa uh, kind of outfit, which is very cool. Um, there's one, Nia, if you're watching, look, turn away, okay? Look away now. I'll tell you when you can look back, okay? But this one is for, for my friend Nia, and that's kind of fun, isn't it? And um, I got one for myself, 
uh, on my foot, well, on my ankle, uh, years ago, I had Azumi tattooed on me as a lucky cat um, in blue. Oh, it's a shizuma. Hello, kitten. So I got myself, because obviously Azumi isn't going to be here, um, I've got myself a lucky cat one. So that's for me. Um, for mum, I think it's in this one. She likes gardening, so there's some like wellies with all like flowers and stuff in. Isn't that cute? Just in case. Um, and then for my sister, I got uh, this one, which is an Emma Bridgewater one. And Kate, you better not be watching now. Look away if you're watching. She won't be watching. But this is lovely. It's a little jug with a robin on it. Um, robins are obviously like robins appear and they are meant to be the sort of spirits of people you have sadly lost and Kate sadly lost um, like her mother-in-law recently. So I thought that might be nice, like as a, a little remembrance as well. So there you go. That's what I got from Liberty and obviously I can't show you. Um, Carla's present, even though she probably won't watch this because she doesn't watch me. It's fine. I find me quite boring too. <laughs> but yeah, um, but I'm not going to show you that just in case, just in case, you know, yes. And um, I won't tell you how much they cost because they are disgusting prices. But there we go. Anyways, I'm going to get Shizuma some food because she's on the little prowl. Aren't you kidding? Yeah. And um, yeah, I'll be back when it's time for tea. This is dinner tonight, cauliflower, rice, broccoli and green beans, a bit of burger sauce. It's in here, I've got a burger with some hot sauce um, and a little bit of cheese in a low carb toasted bap. Yum, yum. Just going for, going for another kitten break. This time it's a shizuma. This is her favorite spot. Oh, you like it up here, don't you? On a box. Next to a doll's house. My funny little girly. I know. I know, but we can't get rid of the other one now. I'm sorry. I still love you the most. I do. I do. You're my baby. I know. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh, it's quite dark, isn't it? We've only got little lights on. I'm having another decaf before I go and um, throw myself in the bath. Like, there'll be some water in there and I won't actually, you know, I'll get step in and sit down and, you know, all of that. Um, anyway, so what I was talking to about um, at the beginning, which was like Lainey's charity event that she's doing, because Lainey likes to every so often do something fabulous for charity and she's really good at it. Um, she's raised, you know, thousands before for Mind and things like that. So awesome. This year, um, she's raising money for Paws for Thought. Uh, so it's an animal charity and they want to build their own little animal hospital without Rolf Harris, I should imagine. Um, yeah, definitely without him. Anyways, so she's doing a charity raffle. There's like over 40 prizes so far. Some of them are like, wow, you know, like awesome stuff. Well, all of them are actually, but some of them are definitely like, get your, get your bids in, you know, like for them. So um, you can buy virtual tickets through the link and I'll put the link in the description box underneath this one. Or should I do it as a pinned comment? I think I might be able to do it as a pinned comment. So I'll do that. I think I'll try, but it'll be down there anyway. Um, so the link for you to buy tickets, I think it's a pound a ticket. So say if you put in like, you know, donate £10, you'll get 10 tickets. And then I think Lainey lets you know like what number of tickets you've got. And there'll be a live draw um, at some point over on Lainey's channel. So head over to Lainey's channel. The link I'll also put underneath there as well. So you can find out all of the details and stuff like that. Remember when you are donating to put your full name as the donator in there. Because some people have left that out or left it as anonymous or put in a name that, like, you know, nobody knows Santa Claus or whatever. Although we all know Santa. Um, and obviously they can't then find that person to give them their number. So make sure you put your name, like, in it. That would be great. 
Unfortunately, it is UK only because uh, she can't ship these things abroad. 40 prizes to send abroad would be um, a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, so if you could just do that, like I said, links are down there, all in um, all in the name of charity. Um, and, you know, what could be better than, you know, lovely animals getting all the help that they need because, you know, after our little Tilda being in hospital for a little bit as well and being ill, very much appreciated, don't you? Yes. Anyways, thank you for doing that. And um, yeah, that's it from me for today. I think tomorrow I'll go out and do something. I feel like popping out somewhere, you know, maybe getting on a train and going somewhere and seeing if I can find some pretty stuff. Not that I need any stock. It's more that I need to just kind of, you know, get out of the house a little bit. Even though I was out of the house all weekend. You know what I mean. Sometimes you just want to go shopping for stuff. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So that's me. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.